hello guys and welcome to my channel my name is Jenny as you can guess probably from the title we are making an unboxing today and a first impression because it's not a true unboxing I've worn this bag already for five days and I have my first impressions I want to share with you and maybe for those outside there who are wondering how the bag looks like in person and what fits inside and what maybe I think about the bag. For those, I made this video and I hope I can help you because when I went to Valentino and decided to buy the bag, I wish I could see one video from somebody who showed me the bag before. And when I got it, I decided I will do it for others. And uh, that's why we're here today. And uh, my native language is not English, guys, so please excuse me when I'm making small mistakes or I'm looking maybe sometimes for words, so please don't kill me for that. Um, I just decided to make it in English so more people might understand. And I think let's go and begin with the unboxing. So I'm very, very happy and excited about this bot. Here is the Valentino box the red box i mean nothing new you probably already saw this box but what's inside the box this is what we're interested in so i'm gonna open it has this magnetic closure nothing special open it up yeah i tried to wrap it like valentino guys i failed as you can see it but doesn't matter <laughs> this is not the important part now we're gonna go to the important part. So here comes the dust bag, the Valentino dust bag. And now comes the main part of this video, my Super V new bag from Valentino. This is the bag in the bigger size. There exists a smaller size. I will have a look on the Valentino side and I will tell you the exact measurements of mine and probably also of the small ones so you can just understand what are the differences between them. So I will just open the side to tell you the length of the bag is 27 centimeters. It's 18 centimeters tall and seven centimeters wide. So I will show you the back a bit more close, close up and personal. <laughs> so here you can see the strap is on, so you cannot take it off. I don't know if this is a pro or a con for somebody. Um, this is how it is. The strap also, we'll talk about that later, is quite short. Actually, it's considered to be a shoulder bag. Valentino is selling that bag as a shoulder bag. Me personally, I'm 162 centimeters tall and I'm wearing it crossbody. Hits me quite high, but I can still wear it as a crossbody. Think about it. If you're gonna buy it or buy it online, the strap is short. This is already the longest hole that you can put it on and it's quite short. So let's come now to the bag by itself. In front, you have this big metal V. It's quite big and of course it makes the bag a bit heavy just because of that metal, obviously. Um, it opens like that with a magnetic closure. If you open it like that up, there you have the Valentino tag right in front, as you can see there. Well, I think this is a matter of taste. If they will ask me, probably I wouldn't have needed this tag there, but okay, it's there. <laughs> so then you open it up. Here is how the bag is open. Guys, I mean, I'm a bag lover and I have lots of bags, but how this bag opens is just perfect for my taste. You have three compartments, one, the middle one that you have a small red pocket here and a third one here right behind. Actually, it's quite roomy, the bag. You can fit a lot. I will show you what I can fit inside or what I put inside. 
this is actually what is important the back of the bag looks like that it's quite simple actually the whole bag is quite simple then we have here one two three four five holes five holes as you can see and this is the beauty so it was my absolute dream bag when i saw it the first moment i saw it i knew i want to get it um, i was also quite sure about the color they have it as well in red in white in a camel tone and kind of a dark very very dark brownish red um, these are the colors the small ones actually they have in more variety of colors they even have pink and blue and green and beautiful colors but for me the bag was just too small so i decided to take that size and it was perfect so i have some things here just to show you what can fit inside the bag i will place it like that hopefully that you will see what i will put inside i will be showing you what i'm putting i have here my dior wallet it's a big wallet okay i will put it in the middle section then i have my chanel card case that i will also put inside that one and another card case that i will also put here so if i have that this is how it looks okay one thing that i noticed definitely that if you put something like a card case in the back pocket in the third section here and you close the back you will definitely have problems it will get you a dance if you don't mind put it me personally i don't like it so much so i won't be putting it in the back part i will put it here in front so then i have my my keys that are very heavy and very bulky anyway i will put it here on top of it still have space look and still opening it you see how much space i still have i have here two lipsticks okay one mac and one guana i will also put it here and also that's how it's looking and then i will just try to close it yes it's closing it's closing it's closing <laughs> is it <laughs> is it closing yeah it's closing so this is how it is this is how it is when it's full and guys yes it's heavy it's definitely heavy um I mean i wouldn't mind i wouldn't stuff the bag like that actually in my everyday life okay um i'm taking only my generals this big wallet is also a question do you need such a big wallet but you could you could this is how it is what about my first impressions of it i own two other valentino bags I mean, about the quality, we don't have to talk. The leather is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. It's, of course, probably, I don't know if I will get fast scratches. Five days, I have two kids. Um, I'm uh, looking after my things, but I'm using them. I mean, so still, it's perfect. I have no problems. I have no issues. It's not too heavy. It is heavy, but it's fine for me. Be aware of it that, of course, this big metal thing has a weight by itself, so it might be too heavy for some of you. So maybe go and try it, or I don't know how you will decide whether to buy it, but isn't that a beauty? I love, 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 love that bag. And I'm so proud that I got it. Um, we won't having everyday unboxings here of any designer handbag, guys. I'm telling you from now. Because for me to buy a designer handbag is... I have to save money. And it's a big, big, huge thing for me to go and get something like that. And I'm not showing off here what I have or what I don't have, I'm only sharing with you guys 
if you're interested in the bag. I bought it for my own money. Obviously, Valentino didn't present it to me. It would be nice, but they didn't. I really bought it myself. <laughs> and uh, it's only for those who maybe have questions about the bag, what fits inside, or just to see it once in person. I mean, I, I was so excited when I saw it online, but I wished I could see it live. And not everybody of us can go to Valentino and see it. Maybe no Valentino around or uh, too far. Or now that we are in this Corona crisis, we cannot go to the shop because it's closed. So I thought it's a nice idea just to make an unboxing and for you to see the bag. And if you have any other questions or you would like to see more or maybe something else, just write me in the comments. I would love to read and answer you if I can help you. And otherwise, guys, I wish you all the best and hope to see you soon. Bye.